Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the previous video, we explored Sunny Shore City and got Volkner to return to the gym, where we are going to beat him today in a 1 vs 1 Pokemon Gym battle. This is the last time we're going to be talking to this man, the sunglasses man! Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Let me check out your trainer case, let's see how many badges you have. One, two, three, wow, whoa, you already got seven. That means if you beat this gym leader, you're on your way to the Pokemon League next. That also means that this is the last time I get to give you advice. This is it, kiddo. Listen carefully, one last time. The gym leader here is a master of electric type Pokemon. That's all I have to say. The rest is up to you. So as you can see, he is no longer giving us the big advice. He is only giving us the small advice. But honestly, it's because we're ready. You know, it's because we're ready and we know what we're doing. I tried to see if I could sneak around. I would have battled them anyway, let's be honest. Can you make it to the gym leader? You sure now? I have defeated an intergalactic villain. School kid. Alright? I know what I'm doing. Speaking of things that I know what I'm doing, I know I have to pull out my list of Pokemon here that we need to see before the end of the game. Uh, be checking this off. I don't think there's any electrics on here. Um, I don't see any. Oh, Magnezone. Okay. So we're on the lookout for a Mag- Wow, you didn't one- this is <laughs> this is the Pachirisu that that dude used in that one world championships that took like a I swear it was against a Garchomp he took like a Dragon Rage or something or a, a Draco Meteor something super charged and he just dominated it really you have a level 40 sa saber come on you got this dude oh god he doesn't have it saber her saber her saber Oh, Saber. Saber, why do you do this to me? It so isn't worth it. I'll just send out Picante, per the norm. Why is this what I have to do, Saber? I believed in you, I trusted you, I XYZ everything. Why do I have to send out Picante to nearly get one shot? Why do I have to do that? Here we go. But he's got the mock punch, you know, stab, physical. Ooh, the Discharge for 70, though? Discharge for 70? No, I didn't think so. Ooh, the Paralysis, though. Okay, so if I still use a priority move, I will still get through. That's good. And uh, deal enough damage to end that there. Wow, looks like I gotta run all the way back to the Pokemon Center. Way to go, Saber. The gears spin round and round. I spin down and out. Yeah, don't threaten me. Alright, I have to run all the way back to the gosh darn... Uh, friggin Pokemon Center I'll be right back all right Saber is back fully charged also Picante is too uh, but he, we're ready we're fully charged we're ready for the action of the Pokemon gym room two <laughs> we're gonna make it a step further that's right guys all right so as you can see as we turn this around we also rotate this upper gear so now we can walk across this one here and uh, we can't walk right off, unfortunately. We do have to go around and battle this nerd. I think he's a school kid, actually. This is the toughest gym in Sinnoh. That's why I'm here, to learn the best battle techniques around. Well, you should have gone with me to the distortion world where I fought an intergalactic criminal. Sorry, but that's how men came to claim. Forrest. His name is Forrest. Um, like the, the, uh, the restaurant man slash, uh, what else was he? He was a soldier, runner, Forrest Gump is who I'm speaking of, and uh, he was Mr. Box of Chocolates himself. All right, um, yeah, let's let's get some Dragon Rage out here. Let's be honest. I mean, Dragon Rage has got the power we need, and, and obviously lowering the speed isn't going to help too much at this point in the stage. Mirror Shot. Does that repeat the damage I just did, but back to me? And if yes, why are there so many moves that do that? Okay, it doesn't. No worries. I was going to say, there's a lot of moves that, like, rely on the damage given to you. Revenge. Um, I guess not mirror shot, um, but there's a couple. Bide also reflects damage, but that's after a couple of turns. So, I mean, maybe I'm just making things up. Yeah, we're gonna roll with that. Okay, I could totally run back to the Pokemon Center, but I'm really lazy, you know? I'm just absurdly lazy. You're tough. Thank you. Alright, so I guess I'm going to not go to the Pokemon menu. I'm going to go to the medicine and heal from the, the uh... Just from just from the sidelines, you know. Just gonna chill and, and drop a, a hyper potion there. Alrighty. Um, let's see. We also have this calcium for special attack. Give that one to. Oh, one of any effect. I'm already maxed out on on special attack there. 
Special attack on Picante. Uh, the attack stat. Give that to Ginkgo. Um, Carbos for speed. One of any effect too fast already. Who else needs to be fast? Skywalker, you want to be fast? Skywalker, you get to be fast. I don't know. You want to be fast again? Cool. Alright, yes, this is definitely cool. And I also have these PP ups, but I don't have anything I want to use them on particularly, so I guess I shall wait. For the meantime, until something cool comes up, and I'm like, I want to use it on that. I want to win! The desire I pour into my guitar! I want to win! That passion compels my Pokemon! Who let this guy in? He's just here promoing his band. Guitarist Jerry. Alright, Jerry. Rock out, dude. You got this, bro. Alright, Saber's gonna come out first. We're gonna go with the Dragon Rage tactic. I'm thinking I'm gonna switch to Picante though, because they are Steel types, and Steel is, um, very weak to the fire. You can melt right through it, and, um, if I can take care of that in a couple of turns more than, uh, it'll take less turns than, than it would attacking with Saber, so I might do that switch right now, actually, now that I have the opportunity, as long as he has more Magnemite or, or things from the Magnemite family. Skywalker at level 42, there we go. Luxio, okay, so maybe not. What is your typing? You're pure electric. Okay, so I'll, I'll chill with this then. There you go, Luxio. <laughs> I scoff at you, good sir. You want a Luxio? Well, wait, it's it's level 46? Oh, sorry, 44, and it's, you haven't evolved it? He's too focused on his, his music, that's why. He's like, I'm playing music! And then he's like, oh, do you want, hi, I'm Luxio, can I evolve? He's like, music! No, Luxio, you can't evolve. Oh, he's using swagger. He's upping my attack stat in the uh, hopes that I hit myself in confusion. Man, swagger's a dumb move. I say that and I'm, I'm totally going to get hit by it now, but I still think it is not a... Oh, good job, Saber. Thank you for proving me wrong for once. There we go. Get the crunch damage in. I'm concerned about Rock 2 missing. Yes, thank you for asking people in the comment section. I am concerned. Uh, a second Luxio. Alright, I do kind of want to move faster, so I'm going to switch out to Picante here, um, just because he has more damage dealing moves than, um, not more damage dealing, I guess he just moves faster and I think he hits harder too, despite being a lower level. Um, I just feel, you know, more faith in him. Not saying I don't have faith in Saber, but uh, Picante has proven himself in countless battles and proved himself yet again with a, a, a clutch close combat, lowering both the stats, but doesn't matter because the battle is already over. Alright, there we go. And, uh, we defeated Guitarist Jerry. We couldn't win! No Encores for us! Honestly, you should just get a Pokemon that has the move Encore, and you'll always get an Encore from yourself. This Pikachu is a Pokemon trainer, by the way. <laughs> Look at the way I'm dressed! Can't you see that I'm hardcore? Why does Vulcan have a bunch of kids in his gym, man? He's got- he's got three kids, and a guitarist. This is his star lineup. This is his, his stellar group of people he's got here. Three kids and a guitarist. Which sounds like the perfect uh, sitcom. Three three kids and a guitarist, but you know, it could be like a school of rock thing. All right. Yeah. So I, I one shot your Pikachu. I'm sorry, but I do have to ask why you brought him here. Uh, a second Pikachu. Okay. Oh, you have four Pikachu, don't you? All right. Please don't miss Saber. I wish there was an accuracy stat that I could boost. I'm also definitely gonna have to. Oh, wait. Never mind. I'll use the PP up on Rock Tomb. There we go. I'm sitting here wondering what am I going to use it on? Rock Tomb. There we go. And I'll also use an Aether after that to get it up to a higher set of uh, BP. And we can continue, I think, right into the next room. I feel like that's where uh, Volkner is, but he could be on the end of another, another spinning puzzle, so we'll have to wait and see. Honestly, usually I get to these gym leaders pretty quickly, but having to fight all of them is taking a bit of time, so we'll see how long this video ends up being because I am uh, dealing with all these gym trainers. All of them are mandatory so far. I have not been able to skip a single one. Well, actually, you could have skipped this one technically if you walked around him while he was looking the wrong way. Is it a him or a her? I didn't even see. I'm sorry, I didn't check. I'll check afterwards. They're in a Pikachu costume. I mean, it's hard to tell. We'll see by the name. Uh, Saber, Skywalker, Megan, it's a girl. I was being serious, don't laugh at me, I mean it. You know, Volkner, <laughs> he's all like, Battling it gets me down, man. I don't know why I do it anymore. But let me let me invite these kids into my gym. Yeah, that'll help me. Actually, it's possible he's using the kids to uh, gain back some affection for battling. Because they're like, we love to battle. Oh my lord, this puzzle is huge. Jeez, man. Okay. Hello. <gasps> no, get away, guitarist Jerry part three. Part two. 
What the heck? What the heck is going on? How many times? Oh, you know what? I see what I need to do. Okay, look the other way so I can walk. Thank you. Gotta go over here. This is a must battle, it looks like. Yeah, you don't turn. Alright. So we skipped one, by the way. I'm not just looking for a tough trainers to battle. I've been battling here because I want to feel the rush. The rush of almost getting crushed by moving gears. That rush. Miss Destiny. <laughs> is your destiny to get hit by gears? Because that's definitely a safety hazard. Having all those rotating parts just exposed like that. No way. That's not happening in anyone's world, so... I would definitely be awaiting the lawsuit, Mr... What's his name? Volkner. Yeah. Okay. Hey, speaking of Volkner, actually, I'll wait till I start battling Volkner to tell the Volkner story. That makes sense. No, stop using Iron Tail. Yeah, there we go. We'll both hit the misses. I'm surprised Iron Tail missed it. That's Electabuzz, by the way. That's what he looks like in this game. Saw a lot of him in the last video that I all cut out because I thought it was boring to fight wild Pokemon. Using a lot of Iron Tail lately. That's a move that Ash's Pikachu learned in this. I think it was actually in the Hoenn region. Now that I think of it, uh, I didn't want to use Rock Tomb again. Whatever. Yeah, he learned that there, and I think he trashed- actually no, he kept it for uh, Generation 4, and then I think in the in the Unova series, I remember Ash got rid of the Pokemon move uh, Volt Tackle, like Pikachu's signature powerful move, for Electro Ball, and it was so sad, because honestly, the prime Pikachu moveset, and, and I've explained many times back in um, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I would run Pikachu's. I would level them up super high and then trash them and hatch a new one. I would always run Quick Attack, Thunderbolt, Iron Tail, Volt Tackle. That was the moveset, always. And I think that was Ash's best moveset, to be honest. It really was. Your power is thrilling. I'm thrilled down to my toes. Great. Let's keep going then. We can now run up here. And oh, great. There's another guy. There's Volkner, though. So there we are. Spark! This is what our gym leader did to get the gym out of boredom. He shocked you with electrical shockers? Preston, 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 Preston. If you ever want to make it big in the rock world, you gotta change your name, bro. You can't be Preston. No one's gonna go to Preston's show. I'm sorry. Shout out to anyone named Preston. Um, I'm sure you perform under a pseudonym. I'm kidding, guys. But, you know, Preston. I mean, I mean, who's gonna headline for Preston, right? Here's Preston opening for Billy Joel. No, 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 mm -mm. no way. A, Billy Joel opens for himself. B, Preston. Wow, I miss my crunch and you hit me with your crunch. We're just gonna crunch off like this. Saber, do it. Do it for the vine. He did it. Do it for the vine is something I haven't heard in forever. Why did I say that? Oh my lord. I can't believe I just said that. Alrighty. So... It looks like I'm running to the Pokemon Center after this fight. whoop de doo That's wonderful. I will be back um, here to fight the gym leader once I, I heal up my Pokemon because Saber can't help but fall on his feet. Honestly, close combat is, is low on PP as well. I don't want to use my other ether for it. It's just not super worth it right now. Not when we can always just run back and only have to avoid one trainer. So, you know, I'm okay with it. It's fine by me. I'm not worried. Uh, let's see. Getting the mad level ups, though? Hopefully, you know. Spark. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back here doing the puzzle once and for all, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final way to solve the puzzle. This is the ultimate strategy guide to solving Volkner's gym puzzle. Alright, what's going on, guys? My name is Tutorial Dan, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get through Volkner's gym. It's pretty difficult. You're going to need some advanced strategies, but uh, this is what they are, so just feel free to copy my movements, and you'll make sure to uh, get through the gym just fine. Alright, so here you're going to want to go around the staircase and then go up the staircase. You can't go up from the side. That just isn't possible. That Pikachu is not in fact Pikachu. That's a real life trainer. you got to be careful when you're walking near him. Also, this guy, he's a guitarist. He, he might spring on you. you got to be careful, as always. Alright, here we go. Tutorial Dan, going to keep showing you how to do it. Alright, strategy guide now ends because you just need to click this over and you can walk. Well, hold on. There's a sp Oh, I can go under the spark. I didn't realize that. Okay. Hold on. <gasps> I wasn't done? Oh my lord, Tutorial Dan has failed me. I thought this was the end. I thought this was the end. Wow, I'm surprised you come this far. But you'll have to turn back. There's not any chance you could ever beat me. Well, joke's on you. Whatever your name is, I already turned back. 
Zatchery. So, you know, I already turned back. <laughs> I went back and healed my Pokemon already, so I don't need to do it a second time, because I already did it the first time. Boom. Roasted. Alright, yeah, I'm honestly liking the damage that Crunch does a lot. Oh my lord, Static. Static is single-handedly the weirdest move. Tell you what, another story. Uh, when I first was hunting for Pikachu in Viridian Forest in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, uh, the best way that I thought to get them was to use a female Pikachu with Static, because the Static would attract the Pikachu and the female would attract the males. So, there's my logic there. <laughs> I don't think that's based on anything. I don't think Static actually attracts uh, other Electric-type Pokemon, but I wasn't convinced it did. And, and so I did it. Hey, Scout to level 43, there we go. A Magneton, that sounds like a job for Picanti. Picanti the Wanty, of course. And we can uh, go ahead and take care of him with a single flamethrower, probably. And then uh, I'm gonna do just a quick field heal on uh, on Saber because it's just the most efficient thing to do at this point. And I'm lazy. I know I said I wasn't gonna be lazy, but now I'm gonna be lazy. So, you know, there we go. Okay, this is honestly the longest gym video I think we've ever had. So, that's nice. What makes your Pokemon so special? They're mine. They went interdimensional. I don't know why I have to tell us. No one believes me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's just... That's how you... That's how you leave. Did I miss something? I had to have missed something. Hold on. I must have missed something. Why is this a big... De what? Huh? Okay. I'm just gonna run through it again. Maybe I'm missing some- oh, you, you're tricky, aren't you? Okay, th no, this is literally- oh, I am not missing anything. What is happening? I can't get through there. What the f heck? What did I just do? I I'm, I'm honestly confused. Okay, uh, I really could use my main man uh, tutorial Dan here to teach me- Oh, I see it. Okay, hold on. Is this... Hold on, let me do it again. Alright, let me try this. Okay. Is this what I need to do? Yep, alrighty, there we go. Let's do a quick field heal on... Uh, I really only have max potions and hyper potions. Whatever, I'll be rich again one day. 58 points. Nice. I could honestly probably sell some of these heals and get some money back, but whatever. Alright, we're just gonna run right into it. Alright, challenger. It's not often, but some trainers manage to come and challenge me. Well, they've all been holding boring battles. I didn't even break sweat beating them. <sighs> I'm Volkner. This is the gym leader. They say I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh, but... Anyway, I guess we better get this done. I hope you're the trainer who'll make me remember how fun it is to battle. Here we go. Volkner. Let's check him out, guys. Volkner. He is... Look at him. He's like, uh, whatever. I guess I got a battle now. Boom. Starts with a Jolteon. Alright, so. Volkner. How you doing? My name's Apple. My strategy here, Rock Tomb. He's gonna hit me with the Iron Tail. Not gonna do too much damage. It's not super effective against me. He's a lower level. We're gonna stick with it. Here comes the Rock Tomb. The Rock Tomb really hits for that electric weakness there, alright? Another thing we could go for is the fighting type. All right, see, we get that speed lowered. That speed lowered is critical. I get it, you guys are tough. We can match your toughness. All right, that speed is critical. We wanna lower that speed. Avoid contact at all costs. These Pokemon are electric. They could have the static ability. We want to make sure we don't get staticked. That is a, a verb now, static apostrophe D. Uh, I should could just say paralyzed, but no, we're gonna go for staticked. All right, in a perfect world, I would push him into the range where he uses full restore which I think is right now. So hopefully he goes for that full restore there. He does. Oh, Hyper Potion, okay. Yeah, so if we grind out his medicines on his lower stage Pokemon, obviously that means we will have a better chance of not, or not even a better chance, we won't get them later on. And that would be super useful. So that is what we wanna see. Apparently Dragon Claw is super powerful. Did I spec Saber for a physical attacker? That would, that's a terrible idea if I did, but anyway, whatever. There we go, Saber level 49. We already used one Hyper Potion. I think he has a full restore as well, but we'll have to check up on that one later. All right, here we go. He's gonna send in Luxray. We're gonna stick with this. Okay, here's my Volkner story. Back um, in the early 2000s, sometime, maybe it was 2010s, 
uh, there was a, a Pokemon expansion called Rising Rivals. I think it was 2010s, actually. Um, or late 2000s. One of those two things. That is bad. That Ice Fang is bad. Um, anyway, there's a Pokemon expansion called Rising Rivals, okay? And Rising Rivals... Uh, was it Rising Rivals? I can't remember now. There was an expansion that allowed you to get some of the Gym Leaders Pokemon as, as you know, as your dudes. And one of them was Luxray GL. It was Volkner's Luxray, and it served to be a very powerful competitive deck uh, with its evolution, Luxray GL level X, capping off this Pokemon to give it a lot of extra power. That is my Luxray story. All right, so he's going for a very, very powerful electric uh, attack here. Here we go. We're going to finish him off with a second close combat, though. This will technically be a lot of his good Pokemon out, right? That's two out of four, and, and my best Pokemon and my second best Pokemon are, are currently in, in no good states, so we'll have to see what happens here. Electivire. Okay. How are we going to fight Electivire? Um, what do you got? Well, let's try it. <laughs> All right, we have to bring the content back. He is a very weak, so we're going to throw Rash out here. Level 40, he's basically going to be fighting a giant. Um, I know I haven't seen Electivire yet, but for some reason it's not on my list, so... Yeah, I think this is his ace, by the way. Ooh, Thunder Punch. For 126, though, I mean, it is Stab, and he is 10 levels higher than me, so... Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Uh, but, I mean, that's a ground move, you know, so... Getting that ground move in there. I will now be using this turn to Hyper Potion, uh, uh, Picante. Get Picante back into the swing of things, come out there with a... Hopefully a, a very powerful close combat there. A quick attack. Okay. Thanks for showing your hand early there, Volkner. You would have one, wouldn't you? Speaking of Electivire, Electivire is one of the ugliest evolutions of a Pokemon, and I, I think there is. Because I really like Electabuzz. I think he's cool. I like Elekid. Elekid? Elekid. Elekid's cool. Electabuzz is cool. Electivire just doesn't have that special factor for me, you know? He just doesn't have it all. So, it's a little bit of a bummer, but you know, whatever. Alright, so he's gonna go for the Thunder Punch here. Hopefully doesn't do too much in terms of damage. I know I did just lower my own defense, so whatever happens is kind of deserved. He goes for the Quick Attack, the Scumbag Quick Attack. I should have gone for Mock Punch. I should have gone for Mock Punch, okay. No big deal, we will send out our own electric type now to combat because, you know, my Luxray is better than his Luxray. And uh, I'm gonna prove that right now with a crunch. So, a fire punch. Interesting strategy, not sure why you'd go for that. If it were me, I would go for the ice punch again because you get the hopes of freezing. But, um, you know, yeah, it wouldn't have. I mean, a burn arguably isn't that much better than a freeze. Okay, he's gonna go for a, a quick attack for sure. So, we are going to. Uh, hyper potion ourselves. Yep, because that, that's a strategy now. We're using items in battle, baby. I am ready to end this series. I love this game, but I think we've been going for this series way longer than any other series I have on my channel, and that concerns me. So, yeah. All right. Um, let's go. Let's keep going. I don't want to use, um, swagger, because that would, I mean, you know, the second I give him swagger, he'll be like, okay, well, guess what? I now hit all my accuracies 100%, and that wouldn't be no good. Alright, so as long as we don't get a crit, honestly, we should be okay. We, we're kind of... Okay, well, there's the burn. I was going to say, we're kind of taking him sort of tit for tat there and, and dealing similar amounts of damage. Okay, we did get a defense fall. That's cool. So, you know, it's kind of it's kind of who's, who's better at this point, you know? And honestly, his Electivire is much higher level, so we do survive this. We will get the uh, lower defense crunch damage there. Not a high roll, unfortunately. There goes Corona down. Okay. Uh, why don't we try next? We will send in Ginkgo to stall so I can heal, um, I can heal Picante. Because he's going to fire punch him in one turn, and it's that's going to be double damage. Or double super effective, so, you know. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get a, a revive here. Oh, yeah, I thought I saw it. There we go. Where is it? There it is. Let's get a revive on Picante, so I can come in with that uh, that close combat there. Um, there goes the fire punch. See that that's gonna be it in all reality. He's a grass type. That's super effective. He's an ice type. That's super effective. You know, I mean that's just not happening. So you know, no big deal. We'll be able to switch in our uh, 
our Picante. Now the hail is falling, so we are going to get some some damage over time on on everyone. No no one's immune to it anymore. So you know, here we go. Hopefully he's faster. He is faster, and this close combat should really do it. To be honest, I don't think there's much of a chance he survives. Good. Just just had to make sure on that one. All right. Down goes Electivire. Cool. One Pokemon left. Skywalker gets a ton of XP. Picante gets a ton of XP. Almost hit Pikachu. Don't know why. Gonna take a little damage from Hail. A little. S I thought that's an interesting strategy. All right. Here's the Raichu. We're gonna keep going just right away. Uh, this is Raichu. It's like a mid-tier Pokemon. This is it. My trump card. All right. You can see he's getting a little excited now. He's like, "Ooh, my last Pokemon. Nice." Um, by the way, he's like half. Not half. I think the Elite Four are, are set up to level 55, so this was a tough battle and there's nothing left besides Victory Road and then the Elite Four, so good luck with that one. Level 48 for Picante, much deserved. Level up there. We defeated Volkner. You've got me beat. Your desire and the noble way your Pokemon battled for you. I even felt thrilled during our match. That was a very good battle. You got 6,000, which seems not much, but whatever. <laughs> That was the most fun I've had in a battle since... I don't know when. It's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is your 8th gym badge. You've earned this. We received the Beacon Badge from Volkner. 8th and final gym badge. The Beacon Badge lets you use the hidden move Waterfall even when you're not in battle. Waterfall happens to be the key if you're going to the Pokemon League. Also, because you've collected all 8 gym badges, any Pokemon at any level will now obey you without fail. I want you to take this too. It gives us TM57. Oh boy, what is it? What's inside that TM is the move Charge Beam. It may raise special attack if it lands. It's electrifying. Well, bada bing, bada boom, ladies and gentlemen. That is our eighth and final gym badge of the game. That's that's all she wrote. And now, if only we had that uh that waterfall move, we could totally get a move on. But you know, we don't. So we are going to have to uh, swim the entire way. Waterfall lets you climb those those waterfalls. By the way, if it wasn't clear. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, and I think that's going to be about it. Let's let's head up here first, though. Let's see if you have anything to say. Oh, hello, Jasmine. I was just coming to speak to you. Hey, Apple. What the? You went and got all the gym badges of Sinnoh? Aw, oh, you. That's wicked. I envy you. But don't think you've won, because I'm going to be the toughest trainer ever. You watch me, because I was dreaming. I just want to be just like my dad. Now things are different. I thought about what being a trainer involves. I thought about what Pokemon are. We're gonna get tougher in one step at a time. I'm not gonna challenge you to a battle now. I hate to say it, but I know you're tougher than me. But not a whole lot tougher, just a little. Our difference is about a yard? Nah, not even an inch. What I'm trying to say is that I'll catch up to you in no time. If you don't hurry to the Pokemon League, I'll leave you in my wake. Okay, I need to talk to Jasmine now. Was that your friend? Seeing how you two got along made me happy somehow. It must be wonderful having a friend like that. A person that you can share anything and everything with. A person you can compete with without, without fighting. Um. It may feel sort of warm seeing you two. It may sound odd, but I'd like you to have this as my thanks. This isn't much, but... She gives us HM07, which of course contains Waterfall, the key to the Pokemon League. That hidden machine, it contains Waterfall. If you use it, you can get to the Pokemon League. Um, I don't know how I should say this, but good luck. Thank you, Jasmine. And with that, that's going to be all for today. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys have our videos around. In the next video, we're going to be heading northward to the Pokemon League. Or actually to Victory Road and then the Pokemon League. But anyway, until then, as always, take care.